is going on with the phone? <laughs> Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. 100%? Yep. Okay. If your phone makes one more noise, Will you give me 20 bucks? <laughs> okay, good, I like this system. Now I want it to go off, I'm like, let's make this a good gig. Okay. I think now's a good time for the pre-show announcements. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your phone on silent. Phones have existed for most of our entire fucking lives. If you still can't figure it out, you need to kill yourself after the show. You are not made for this modern society. You're not prepared for it. It's over. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, turn those ringers on at max volume, please. Have you ever been through a bad breakup? Yeah. Yeah? Oh yeah. How, did, did she break up with you or did you break up with her? Uh, I broke up with her. Okay, how did you do it? Uh, she said she was going to move to California for work. Sounds like she broke up with you, but keep going. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, hey, I'm a, I, I, this isn't working out. I'm going to move to California. Why break it up with you? Okay, so she said I'm going to California. Uh, it was more of a mental illness thing. Oh, a mental illness thing. Oh, it's dark. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. So, so, okay. Mental illness moves to California. I can only assume she became an actor. No, she wanted to be a spiritual medium. She wanted to be a spiritual medium? Okay, so this is mental illness depending on what you believe in. I like this, okay. So she wanted to be a spiritual medium. What, what made her believe that she had the abilities? She stopped taking her meds. <laughs> Interesting, interesting, okay. So she stopped taking her meds, and then, and then she, so what did you say? What did you say? Were you like, let's take these again? <laughs> what kind of meds? What kind of disorder are we talking about here? Uh, she was, I know she was on Lamictal. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, it's a, I, my therapist wanted me to take Lexapro, which, uh, but then I looked at the, the bottle, one of the side effects is suicidal thoughts. Which is the opposite of why I would take Lexapro. Yep. That's like if uh, Viagra made your dick a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> so I get it. So she goes off it. She starts talking to spirits. But where did she go in California? Did she go to a place? No, she never went. Oh, she never went. Oh, how dark is this going to get? Uh, oh, shit, it's going to all she, the way dark? Uh, she, was, uh, she wasn't... She did not interpret reality as I see, one realm. I see. Realm. I see. <laughs> yeah. So then you were like, hey, I think we should see other people. I'm like, you're in a couple different realities, so this shouldn't be too heavy, but. Sure. Was she like, was she like, yeah, I don't give a fuck? Or was she stressed about it? Uh, at first, and then oh, God. later on, she was like, I fucked up. Oh, she, did she go back on the meds? She did, yeah. Oh. Later on. Woo! We're all wondering how far this spirit plane took us. We're like waiting for, then she flew with the spirits off a cliff in California. Thank God. So she's doing better now. That I know. She's, yeah, she's sure. Still, she's back in this reality. She's back in this reality. You're putting it very politely. I like it. You're like, you could have, at any point, you could have been like, she's a crazy fucking bitch. Uh, yeah, 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 different reality, you know, different. Yeah. So what are you dating now? Uh, no, I'm married to another woman now. Okay. And uh, she's staying on her meds this time? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I am married to a therapist now. Oh, shit. <laughs> so so she's, she's at a different comedy show being like, my husband lives in different realities. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, why isn't she here? I love therapists in the audience. Oh, uh, this is the bachelor party. Oh, this is the bachelor party. Yeah. Who's, who's, it's yours. Okay, did that story scare you at all? You don't even know what to expect. So cute at that age. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been, this is the bachelor, are you going to do strippers after this? Is this... <laughs> We are such I a... thought that's where you were. Oh, you thought that's what I was? <laughs> I mean, you did give me 20 bucks. That, that, that's, uh... 
It would only be fair. How long were you dating this woman before you uh, proposed? Um, 2010 we started and proposed 2014. Wait. Oh yeah, okay. Don't worry, I'll follow up. I wasn't gonna leave it there. I can count as well. You started dating in 2010. You proposed in 2014. You were in a coma for six years. <laughs> then the pandemic, and now the wedding. I, I had brain surgery. Oh. I was right! <laughs> Don't get quiet on me, I was fucking right! I nailed that shit! Uh, was it, you got the brain surgery just because people were like, you're getting married? You're crazy. <laughs> Okay. First of all, this is the most fucked up table of all time. Yeah. This bachelor party is gonna end with all these guys crying. I don't know what happened to the rest of you, but like you are bonded by some kind of trauma over here. Okay. So you had brain surgery. Uh, uh, we know it's we know it's a happy ending. So let's let me. You mind if I ask a, a couple questions? Yeah. What 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 was it? Yeah. Um, in '07. So that started in 07, so it was 10 brain surgeries, like, all together, but, um... Sure, just like, was the 10th one free? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what I love about the story is, unlike your story, I know where it's going at the end. So I'm not too scared to continue asking questions. Yours, I was just like, uh-oh. <laughs> so when was number 10? Um, 2012? About 2012. 2012? Yeah. 2012? yeah. It's, 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 yeah it's... Wait! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Wait, your last surgery was 2012, then you met her, that's when, 2010? Yeah, so she was- And you proposed 2014? Yeah. So then, <laughs> this blows up my whole theory! Okay, so all the brain surgeries happened before, then you proposed, and then what happened from 2014 to now? So, it basically, it was more, my brain kept going like bad, like the seizures got worse on and off, so the seizures were messed up, whatever. And then, so I was like, I wasn't feeling good. I was getting depressed from it. So yeah. So it was more like, well, if I'm depressed, why are we gonna get married? Like, sure. Those things. Then, you know, she had three deaths in her family, then COVID hit, and then... You don't have to bring in her deaths too. Your story is plenty <laughs> tragic enough. I don't need more. Yeah. So then, okay, you know, so... so then, yeah, that's what happened. And then last year, she was like, why don't we just do it and make it happy? You know, we're finally happy together. Like, everything's working out. My seizures are feeling good. I'm not having seizures. Like, okay, why, good. Why don't we I mean, frankly, I'm feeling like I need to wrap up the show before you have one because it's really going to put a damn into this entire thing. Yeah, so, but you haven't had a seizure in how long? Um, well, actually, in April, my seizure medication was low, so I had seizures all spring and summer. And then the seizure medication started working again, so I raised it, and now I'm back to normal for now. All right, let's applaud! Back to normal for now! Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna stop talking to audience members for the rest of my life. That's a beautiful story. Now I know if I ever propose to my girlfriend how to get out of it after. <laughs>